Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the M392. The M392 is a DMR, which stands for Designated Marksman Rifle. The gun is an air-cooled, magazine-fed, gas-operated, select-fire bullpup rifle that uses 7.62 with 51mm ammo. The type of rounds the M392 fires are M118 FMJ AP. This gun is used by the United Nations Space Command and is manufactured by Mizraya Armory. The M392's intended battlefield application is to provide accurate fire from mid to long range engagements. The gun is meant for more experienced operators with proficient skill in shot placement. The M392 was adopted into service in the year 2512, serving as the primary weapon of Army Squad Marksmen and Reconnaissance Units. The weapon also found use with Marine Corps and Air Force combat rescue teams during the insurrection. Even during the wake of the Covenant War, the M392 was still in service with the Army as well as Marine Corps Reserve Units. The trademarks on the gun are rather simplistic, with only a couple UNSC emblems, Mizra Armory stamped on the scope, and the EVOS D stamp located right below the scope. I notice the serial number is stamped three times on this gun, one on and below the scope, as well as one on the front. All these trademarks are on both sides of the weapon. The M392 features an ejection port that can be switched to either side. The magazine release is located just above the mag well and is ambidextrous. The bolt is where you'd expect and is the only part that's not ambidextrous. Right underneath that is the fire selector. Up is on safe, middle is on fire, and down is on auto. The M392 also comes with a built-in ammo counter. Finally, the gun features rails located on the top as well as smaller ones on the front on both sides. Almost forgot to mention the flashlight mounted on the barrel. Which is weird because like I said, there are rails at the front on both sides. So I don't understand why the flashlight is attached to the barrel and not the side rails. This gun does come with an EVOS D scope capable of 3x magnification. There's also a front post but it's ultimately useless since the scope is the optic that's going to be used anyways. The M392 holds 15 rounds in the magazine, plus a total of 60 extra spare rounds. The average fire rate I got was around 155 rounds per minute. Reload speed I got was around 2.5 seconds. The tactical reload speed was around 1.9 seconds. Max effective range is 30.6 meters from the hip. And the max effective range when using the scope is 91.54 meters. Moving on to damage output, it takes 4 shots to break shields, plus 3 more shots to health, totaling a 7 shot kill. Or 4 shots to break shields and 1 shot to the head for a kill, resulting in a 5 shot kill. Body shot TTK was around 2.3 seconds. Killing spree. And the headshot TTK was around 1.55 seconds. Alright, that concludes this weapon analysis. I like Reach's DMR, but I can understand if some players may not like this weapon due to Bloom. Which is honestly the only adjustment I would make to this gun. 
Maybe if the gun had 5% less bloom, I think it would make the gun feel better to use. Well, that's it from me. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you want to stick around. Links to my Twitch and Twitter are down in the description. And until next time, peace.